G'day everyone, I'm glad you're here because on today's episode of Let's Remember we're taking a look at a little game called Vinyl Goddess from Mars. Wow, look at her. Uh, I've never played this before in my life. This one was released in 1995, developed by Six Pound Sledge Studios and published by Union Logic Software Publishing Incorporated. <gasps> it's also known as Jill of the Jungle 2, and here's a little tidbit I found on Wikipedia because Epic was actually going to publish the game as a sequel to Jill of the Jungle, but it wasn't happy with the quality of the game, and so it publish published Jazz Jack Rabbit instead of this. Uh, the story was then changed and published by Union Logic as an original game, so there's your story. In Vinyl Goddess from Mars, the game is split into three episodes, so today we'll be taking a look at episode one called The Forest of Old. Alright, that's enough talking, let's get right into this. The forest of old, easy, moderate, eh, let's go moderate. Okay, so it's got a little hub world thing. Like I said, I've never played this before. If it's as good as Jill of the Jungle, we're in for a good time. But uh, apparently it's not, that's why Epic didn't want to publish it. <laughs> okay, Union Logic Presents. Oh, I have Vinyl Finds a Weapon. Okay, so my name is Vinyl, okay. Interesting name. Uh, so what have I got on the bottom left, I guess that sexy image of the leg with a sword on it. I've got knives. I think the green bar tells me how many knives I have. I don't know what that red thing is. It looks like a pokeball that's opening and closing. And then I've got my face, my sexy face in the bottom right hand corner. I think the blue bars represent my health. Okay, uh, what can I do? Jump is control and shoot is alt. Final finds a health pot. Lovely. Oh my god, what is that? Get out of here, you. Oh, oh, what's this? Looks like a bell sprout. Get out of here. Oh, it's one of them Pokeballs. Get all them Pokeballs. I don't know what they do, but a counter is going up as I collect them. Okay, can't go that way. Let's go up here. Oh, wow. Is, is that, this view really necessary, you guys? As she climbs up the vine. My god. Some horny men made this, I bet. Ugh. Shameless. <laughs> I bet a lot of nerds were excited when this one came out, right? Okay, let's get rid of this bell sprout. Come here, you. I can't, like, crouch and shoot, which is annoying me, but... Ah, oh, no! Oh, secret area! Yeah, get all the gems. Okay, let's just backtrack a little bit here. It controls fairly well, and the graphics are obviously quite pretty. Yeah, the music's good, too. Yeah. I mean, we've only played for like a minute, but I don't have any major issues, which sometimes is the case with a lot of these games. You can just play it for like 10 seconds and you're like, this is, oh my god, they should have fixed this and this and this and this. Vinyl finds a health pot. Oh, fabulous, fabulous. All right. Get rid of you, Mr. Walking, I don't know, seed pot or something. What's this? A health jug. Whoa, jug is like pot, but on steroids. As your uh, angle again. Okay. Oh, another bell sprout. Get out of here. Can't crouch and shoot. Oh, it's so annoying. It's gonna piss me off so bad. This reminds me of Zargon, actually. But, uh, pretty much insofar as, as it's, uh, well, pretty much the exact same game. Well, not the exact same game. It's very different to Zargon. Well, not very different to. Z what the hell am I even talking about? If you've seen my Zargon video, you know this has obviously got some big similarities to that. Not sure which is better though. Okay, oh, I guess that's a checkpoint. What are these things? They're weird. I don't know. I would, do they have a name? Stop it, I can't crouch and shoot! I'm gonna just whinge about that for the whole episode, aren't I? Probably. I can only hit these damn bell sprouts when they pop their heads out. What's this, a spring? Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Exit. Oh, level one completed. Thank you. Damn it. I only got six Pokeballs. Bollocks. All right, where should we go now? What's this? I can't go up there. Fine. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, I got a key. Maybe I can go this way. Aha. Oh, cross the bridges. This is kind of cool, right? I like it. Seriously, what? Oh, okay, I can go this way. It's just stuck on something. Here we go, level two. <clears throat> Vinyl finds a weapon. Ugh, what kind of a name is Vinyl anyway? I thought this game had something to do with like records or something when I first heard of it. And I'm sure you probably did as well. Like Vinyl Goddess from Mars. What would that be? That would be like a, a sexy vinyl record who flies around the galaxy firing musical notes at, at starships and... Ah, okay, I don't know where I'm going with that thought, but it might have been a better game than this, let's be honest. Nancy Felix has all the best original unique ideas, and oh my god, one more hit and I think I'm dead. Okay, we got a checkpoint there, so it's okay. Oh, ooh, uh, that was a bit rough. Wait, does the Pokeballs represent my health meter? I mean, lives? It may do, although I doubt they'd hand them out that liberally because I think the screen in the last level suggested that there were like 36 that I could have found. So I have no freaking idea. Let's get a health health jug and some more Pokeballs. I don't know what they are, okay? I'm just going to keep calling them Pokeballs. Sorry. Hope I'm not infringing on any copyright. Ah, get out. I want to fight something else. Please. Ah, give me a new weapon at least. Why do you keep giving me the same weapon? I don't know if she even can get any other weapons. Uh. <sighs> well, it's pretty standard stuff. That's what I'm thinking right now. It's not blowing me away, but it's perfectly serviceable. It's no major issues. Apart from not being able to crouch and shoot at the same goddamn time. Did I just go in a circle? Gosh dang it. So this whole area was just essentially pointless. Ah, it's like so hard to get off these vines. Ugh. I can't actually jump. If I press a jump button, nothing happens. So I have to kind of like just move to the right and she just falls off. Unless I press like jump and right at the same time. No, what the fuck? Okay, we found another big issue, everybody. This is a problem unless I'm doing something fatally wrong. Oh my God, the frustration is real. Uh, how do I get up there? Seriously. Right, let's try this again. No, get. Oh, now I'm stuck down here. That's that's great. That's perfect. I'm gonna try all the buttons. See if there's like a special jump that I know I don't know about. Come on. Oh well, I made it up there. Let's just get up here. Ugh. Okay, okay. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and climb up on the rightmost part of this vine. No! Doesn't work! Well, I'm shit out of ideas. Okay, I'm dead now. That's that's great. Uh, maybe we can go through this again and avoid that area completely. I'm not sure if I actually had to traverse that area, but we'll see. Hmm, where was that area? Is it... Am, am I back here? Oh my god, I am. I literally have to go this way. There's no other way. This is a big problem. Oh, oh no! <laughs> No, don't kill my video like this. This is the worst way to end a Let's Remember video. Ah. Seriously, what am I doing wrong? I'm pressing shoot, I'm pressing, I'm pressing everything, baby. I don't, I don't know. Oh, please, my God, let me out of this nightmare. Oh my God, I, I did a jump off of the... Off of the vine somehow. How did that happen? Oh, so I press right and jump. But it... Wait, no, it doesn't work. Okay. What the fuck? Jump, you dumb. You dumb person. Okay, you press jump and then you gotta press right. Like, right after you press jump. You gotta do it in this really specific... Oh, no. <laughs> this really specifically timed way, which is... Way more difficult than I just made it sound. Let's get to the exit. Yes! Oh my god, that was really gonna kill me, that one. But no, we made it. Okay, that's a, that's an issue. You could have made it easier to traverse vines. Ah, that's okay. What are we up against now? 
Union Logic Presents. Why does it say that at the bottom of the screen? Oh, did I get a new weapon? Well, the picture is different, but it pretty much seems exactly the same. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Oh, it's a plot! It's a piranha plant! Yes! Let's go kill it. Yeah. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, my health carries over between levels. I didn't realize. Yeah. Okay, gotta get all these diamond rings. Diamonds are a girl's best friend, right? I'm surprised I didn't just, like, make them handbags or something. No! You'd never see, like, a manly man in a video game collecting diamond rings, would you? And don't link me to a game where you do. Don't ever prove me wrong. Who is that guy? There's a guy just fucking resting in the middle of the cave wall. Smoking a pipe. What are you doing? Do you see all this shit everywhere? It's going crazy. You're gonna die, man. Alright. Can I interact with him? No. Alright. Good luck to you, buddy. You're a braver man than I. Uh, uh, okay. Alright, 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 alright. Yeah. I like these piranha plants. Oh, what did I get now? Oh no, I lost it! Fuck! Damn it! I got a new weapon! Look like a vial of potion or something? Uh, push up to enter door. Oh, let's go inside here. And you get another gratuitous view of our ass when you go in and out of doors if you want to see that again. Yeah, there you go. Alright. More Pokeballs. This is this is very Jill of the Jungle and Zargon. Uh, how do I get over to the left? Maybe I'm not meant to. Okay. Let's kill you. What's the point of this area? Is it just to collect more Pokeballs? Pokeballs? Probably. I still don't know what those do. I'm gonna get me that health jug. Give me that health jug. Oh, pot. Sorry, sorry. Pot is a small one. Oh, there's another dude. Are you like his twin brother? It's almost like you have the exact same sprite. Okay. Haha. <laughs> ah. I wonder why that is. Oh my god, I can so not be bothered even fighting stuff. I just want to run to the end. Give me a new weapon, please. Uh, avoid these. Oh, the exit. The exit. We're so close. Get out of here. Alright. Uh, uh, can't say I'm a fan of this. I uh, can't say I'm a fan of vertical game, vertical stages in general in games, usually. But that's okay. It only means that if I fall down, we have to start all over again. Yeah, that's not frustrating at all. No, no, not at all. What are you talking about, everybody? What are you talking about? Oh, I got the thing again. Oh, yes. Now we're in business. I've got explosive jars, bitch. Oh, what? Just get, just get away from me. Stop it. Damn it. This is such a bad weapon. I regret asking for it. Oh, why do you have to throw it in an arc? That's so annoying. Why are all... Ugh. There's so many games that have these damn weapons that you have to throw in an arc and it's infuriating. Like, Ghouls and Ghosts comes to mind. Or Ghosts and Goblins. Ah, that's the most prominent example that I can think of. Anyway, we made it to the end of the third level. I'm gonna have a quick glimpse of level four and then we'll probably end this, right? It's getting tiresome. I know how you feel. It's, it's, it's getting tiresome. Okay, so it's just some generic indoor level. I think we'll end it here, but uh, what can we say about this? Not really surprised Epic didn't want to publish this. I mean, it's not garbage, but... Jill of the Jungle is way better than this. Way better! It just goes to show that even if you take all the ladies' clothes off, it doesn't make it a better game. Not that Jill of the Jungle wore that much clothing, but you know, this is... This is just hilarious. But, uh, we'll end it here. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I always love your company, so uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to help me out. And I will see you next time. So hey, keep it fancy. Oh, that's like a shameful pose. Oh, I brought shame upon my family.